hello everybody welcome back to my channel um, today I'm gonna give you a little bit of a update um, I got to go see the neurologist today and he said that hold on <laughs> okay he um he, I talked to him about the cognitive and that aphasia that I was talking about and so we're gonna do some tests to see um, how those go. Um, he did a few just kind of um, tests to just see if there was something that was going on right away. Um, it was my regular six month visit, so it was no big thing. And um, he said he wasn't so concerned actually about my weakness because I'm gonna have a new MRI and he's going to see what happens from there. And we're, we'll worry about the weakness after that, especially if there's any new um, lesions or any new activity in my spine so we'll see where we go from there he said that I look really good he's very happy with me and he I told him about you guys I told him about what I'm trying to do and how I just want to share with everybody what's going on in my experience and let you all know that this isn't a death sentence and that we have to fight there were so many people I saw in the office today that were just they look so sad and so down and just defeated and this is not a death sentence this is not a death sentence so we need to remember that um, every day is a new day every day is a definitely a new day and you can start over every day I am having a lot of trouble um, with my joints my hips are getting very bad to the point that I'm having a hard time getting out of bed. Um, I talked to him about that amount of pain. Um, he had, uh, he, he said that that is a concern, so we're worried about the steroids, but I think part of that is just because the acrolizumab that I got on Friday um, does have that little burst of steroids, and it just kind of really offsets the body just enough to where, um, oh, sorry, let me grab the right. Let me grab the right. Uh, this is the one I want. Okay. Um, he says that we just want to be aware of what, um, it just, I'm sorry, offsets just a little bit of, you know, what's been going on of healing or anything. So it could be just a small, um, the small shrinkage of like my cartilages and my tendons. And it's just how the steroids work and what they do. We all know that it holds the bronchi open. We all know that um, it also reduces inflammation. So basically, long story short, my, the, I'm sorry, the, um, the steroids have caused a lot of trouble with my tendons. I actually had to have foot surgery a year ago because there was a huge tear and it wasn't such, just such a tear it split in half and then part of it came off and it was sitting on the top of my foot so what was supposed to be a little tiny incision ended up being as an incision like this and the dog tried to dig for my tendon so he said that we will deal um, with that later I don't know if I'll have to have another doctor for that I don't know I seem to have a lot of doctors uh, my blood pressure is still extremely high um, he's a little worried about that, but part of that is just because summer's not over yet and I take Zyrtec or the Costco equivalent, here come the dogs, um, the Costco equivalent of it. So that actually speeds up your heart. It's kind of like having Benadryl all the time in that little zip of epinephrine. So um, that there just could be just still repercussions from the small amount of steroids that I got. So I want to see in a week what's happening. He's very he was very very pleased with the drug study and um, what was going on with the energy supplements that um, the endurance uh, ones that I was taking for the study. I felt that they did a really good job for my energy level. Um, I don't know if you guys can see kind of the uh, degradation of how I feel like my body's come down. Um, obviously my cognitive is not that great but you know I mean I could just be tired I don't know it's Monday I actually slept all blistering weekend so I don't know how much else I could um, fix that <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do a full um, full huge makeup today probably just something relatively small cover up some pieces of what I don't want like my big pores on my nose but um, I'm not feeling too energetic but when I sit here and visit with you guys I end up doing a lot more than I usually do so I will um, 
see what we can do. But in the meantime, I want you guys just to think about what you want to do with the for the rest of your life. What were your dreams? What are the things that you feel that there is in your world that you don't, that you're afraid you're not going to get to do? Because there is always a way to get it done. And I don't think that anybody out there should ever give up their dreams. Like I still, I still want to go see Europe. I still, um, I want to go ride a train. I've never been on a train, surprisingly enough. And what's funny is Hunter lives in Sacramento and there is a beautiful, a gorgeous train museum there. Oh my gosh. If you ever get to, to Sacramento, go to downtown Sac and um, go to the train museum there. It is absolutely fantastic. There are snow moving trains. There is the original train that actually um, worked on the the East West um, trains where they met. Please forgive me. I'm I'm actually a huge historian, but I can't remember right now. Um, where they dug the stakes in the stake in the golden stake and stuff. That train um, is there. The first one that was ever invented. They they're just absolutely fantastic. But believe it or not, I've never been on a train. And even here in Arizona, there is one that during Christmas or during the year, you can actually ride it from Wickenburg. And I think it goes north up to the rim, up to the Grand Canyon. And what happens is, I'm, I'm not actually, there's activity on the train. <laughs> Good stuff. Some play acting and stuff that comes along with it. And at Christmas time, they turned it into the Polar Express. So that is like really freaking awesome. I'm not a Polar Express lover. I didn't like the movie, but I would wear my pajamas for three days for that. So, um, I mean, there is just, there's, I have a bucket list and I don't plan, I don't plan on changing that list. I might modify it a little bit. Um, I might modify the activity level just a little, but I really have no intentions of actually modifying my bucket list. Yes, I got my hair done. It's very red and then it's black underneath, guys, so I love it. I'm going to put it up and um, make it curly today. Um, keep it down and make it curly. So, the yeah, I, I don't want to just know what kind of bucket list stuff you guys have to do and what type of stuff you think about or have you given up on. Is there anything that you've given up on that you're afraid that you're not going to be able to do anymore? Um, what what type of dreams did you quote have? What type of dreams do you still have? Because there's nothing that you still can't do. There are so many ways to modify everything that we do now, everything. There's handicap, everything. Um, there, it's just, it's just part of the way America works. There's nothing in the United States that you can't see. Believe it or not, I've actually only been to Mexico once and I live about, I don't know, 100 miles from Mexico. So I feel kind of stupid about not going there. Um, there's just a lot of things that I really want to do. And when I get them done, I am going to check them off my list. And I'm very excited about that. So today is just a good day. I was, I love seeing my doctor. He is just amazing. And I think that he truly is one of the most amazing people I've ever met. Um, so far, like I've said before, I've had quite a few neurologists because I tend to not agree with their uh, either progressive, less, or stagnant medicine, and I don't want to do that. And Dr. Hendon is not that way. He is progressive. He wants to find new things. He belongs to the MS Society. He has numerous accommodations, I mean, um, awards, sorry, numerous awards for stuff that he's done with everything he's just he's just amazing and i really really like him so seeing him is a joy for me i get very excited when i get to go see him i also see his daughter she is my psychiatrist and she is an ms specialist psychiatrist so i see her as well and i adore her love her to pieces yeah she is fantastic so um there is a lot that can be done and I just don't want anyone to get discouraged. I met someone the other day um, and she was kind of down in the dumps and we got to talking about how life sometimes kicks us down and sometimes we don't want to get back up and we get discouraged because we get so buried in everything that's going wrong that we forget about the things that are going right. Like People ask me about how I deal with my MS, and I say, you know what, it's not a brain tumor. So, you know, it's not, not a brain tumor. I don't have to worry about that. 
yes, I've had a little brush with cancer, but that's done. And that's over with. And I don't have to deal with that anymore. And I just feel that life is worth living every moment. Every single moment life is worth living. And it needs to be seen as such. So I think that it would be important for everyone to really pick a goal. Pick a goal, see that goal, do ever, whatever you need with that goal. If you need to write it down so you can remember it, because obviously we know my memory kind of sucks. Um, my memory's horrible, and we're going to see what we need to do with that. But anyway, um, write it down. Write down that goal. See what you see if you can still accomplish that goal. Um, talk with someone. See if there's something that they can do that can help you... Um, figure out what you need to get to that goal. Pick that goal. Don't be afraid of that goal. Um, just decide you're going to do it and get it done, even if it's just one goal. I did see a lovely lady today um, at, the, at the office as well, uh, very young. And you know what? She actually had her steroid treatment on her arm, and she was on her walker, and she had come in to see the doctor, and that was the way it was going to be. And she was still motivating around, and I was very, very impressed. Um, today I had a really hard time getting out of bed. Uh, I did come home from the doctor and slept until about 4.30. Uh, I am going to work. I have a, just a 54 hour week. We'll see if I make it. Um, I'm discouraged by that. I am very, very discouraged, um, by that. So maybe if anybody wants to send me some positive vibes, I'd kind of appreciate that. But I, I'm busy trying to think of, I think of other people and I think of other things and I think of other places that I want to be and I think of who I want to be with and um, I think of how I want to get it done and what I need to do to get it done and how, how, where, what's my time frame? So pick a time frame. Um, a lot of us have issues because we might be on public assistance because this stuff's expensive um, or we're not able to work anymore or um, that was what my concern was. The doctor did ask me how I was doing at work because we have talked about the cognitive issue before. I think that my cognitive is doing well, but I'm having a hard time controlling my emotions as you possibly might have seen last week. Um, but I, I come down out of the clouds eventually and um, I do eventually come back to reality. It's, it's very, very hard to control. It's kind of like Tourette's of the emotional world, I guess, for lack of better terms. And uh, then I get very emotional and then I let my heart run things. And I, that's hard now because I feel like my brain is taking a back seat to my heart, which it didn't do before. And so now I feel like I suffer a lot with um, the repercussions from that. And I worry about that. Um, I'm learning that I have to go around, that I have to go, yeah, around things in a whole different way. And if I don't, then one, I'm afraid that I hurt people's feelings and that's so not okay for me. That is just a no-go. That is a complete and total no-go. I don't wanna hurt anybody's feelings. There is no way that that could be okay. Um, I need my family and my world to stay as normal as possible because change is actually quite intimidating to me, but I, I look forward to it. If it's not something that isn't um, stuck to me like immediately, if I'm not um, immediately put in a situation where I have to be backed into a corner and they're saying, you have to change this immediately, um, then I might be able to handle it a lot better. Change is always handled better when there's a little bit of time to absorb it. So I think that that is one thing that everybody should think about. So pick that goal. Um, don't be afraid of that goal. And when you have that goal, write it down. Make sure that you don't forget it. There, um, I, I have a dry erase board that's right back here. And I have goals of how I want to get my bills paid off and what I want to do with my money afterwards. I've actually um, invested some money and $5 at a time. It, it wasn't expensive. It was amazing and definitely not expensive, and I didn't have to worry about that. And it was worth it um, because it just it just made it just made perfect sense. I wanted to play the stock market my whole life. It's something that I've always wanted to do um, because, but I, but I always thought that you had to be one of these great you know big investors to walk in 
with a huge amount of money um, and be able to just slap down a thousand or two dollars and of course that was never an option I'm living day to day just like everybody else paycheck to paycheck yes I go overdrawn just like everybody else I'm not gonna lie um, again and this I'm not doing this for money I don't know even how YouTube works I don't know how these people make a bunch of money I, I have no intentions of, in, of you know trying that I that's not what I want I want to reach out to my MS community and I want you guys to know that there are lots of people that care a lot about you and there's lots of people that are able that are gonna be able to help you um, so don't forget about those goals those goals are extremely Sorry about my hand in the way. Um, those goals are extremely important to have. And they always should, even if it's just going to Disneyland. I haven't been to Disneyland in years. And I think that that would be a wonderful thing to do. I really enjoy Disneyland. The last time I was there, my daughter was very little. Well, she was little. She could go on some rides. She couldn't go on a lot of them. And half of them she was afraid of anyway. So she stayed back with Grandma. Um, but we were able to do a three-day pass um, for Disneyland once and then we went to California land and then we went back to Disneyland the next day to spend the time there so it was great and that was the last time that I was there but those are memories that I won't ever forget or I'm trying not to forget um, I think that those I mean pick those goals and even if a, a small goal will be somewhere in your town and it's for you to go have a picnic or go on a small hike um, take your walker, even if it's that's what you do, Get take your walker or focus on getting off that walker. How about you sit in your chair and you do some leg lifts just from foot up to the knee and then back down, foot up to the knee, just stretch your leg out, back down, stretch your leg out, back down. You're working your quad muscles, you're working you know, a lot of muscles in your thighs and those are great things. You need to keep that up. If you have physical therapy, don't get discouraged with them. They're not trying to hurt you. I don't like physical therapy. But therapy. I prefer chiropractic um, over anything. Um, but I just want everyone to know that even though you may not be feeling well, there's always a reason to get out of bed. Always a reason to get out of bed. And that is extremely important to remember. So I'm not going to talk for long. I'm going to finish my makeup. I'm going to head off to work. And I'm going to start my day. So I just want you guys to know that I'm thinking about all of you. I wanted to give you an update on what the doctor said, how, I, how I'm feeling right now. I'm back down to being kind of tired because I remember that I had spoken with you about how the um, steroids do give you that super boost, um, but then you kind of crash. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm in the crash moment. And... I hopefully, hopefully we'll be back out of this crash moment um, shortly, um, and then I won't have to worry that too much anymore. So I'm looking forward to that. And I hope you guys are having an absolutely wonderful day, but let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you feel about it. Tell me about what your thoughts and your dreams are. Is there something that you feel like you've given up on? Um, if there's any way that I can help you keep that dream, I would be more than happy to. And I know you guys are all strangers, but you know what? If we can become a huge community, we won't be strangers anymore. Um, hi, my name's Tracy. I'm not a stranger anymore. So anyway, let me know your thoughts and... I'll get this uploaded here in just a few minutes. And again, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your dreams. Let me know what you think that you've given up on and how, if there's anything that you don't want to give up on. So keep it going. Keep it going. Get get pissed off. Get fired up. Get ready. Get ready, ready, ready for whatever you have to do next. And just um, make sure that you write it down. Write your goals down. Look at those goals every day. You can do it. So anyway, subscribe to my channel like always. And I hope you guys have a very wonderful day. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have my hair done. You'll be able to see it. It's nice and bright red and black. So it's gorgeous. So okay, we'll see you guys soon.